Welcome back. I've actually switched to sitting down because um, I have knee problems. I had surgery earlier this year, um, but it's still not great, so I can't stand for very long. Fortunately, this game does let you sit down. Uh, the reset height button will put you at the right height even if you're sitting down. So the floor actually looks to be below my physical floor right now. Um, which is why it's annoying that that's not bound correctly on the index controller. So when I first played this game, I was like, can you not do this? Am I just stuck playing this for 30 minutes a day <laughs> because I can't stand for for longer than that? But uh, no, you can. You just need to rebind the controls to do it. Or start the game sitting down. It will also work. Um, alrighty, uh, I guess I decided to do Stone Ship first, which um, is my usual order for playing this game. In the, my original Miss Let's Play, I did not use my usual order, but Stone Ship is traditionally my first age. Um, Basically, if, for for as long as I've ever played this game, I feel like it was the first age I went to the very first time I played this game, and I kind of just stuck with that uh, forever. So we need to go into the tower. I think I already rotated it correctly in the last video. Um, I did. Now everything's on here. Um, so we got to open the tower, which of course in the original you do by just touching the painting, but here it's a handle. It's kind of neat to see. Um, very shiny floor. Cleaners must have been here and mopped recently. <laughs> and again, it's just all bigger than you'd think. I don't know if they actually made it bigger for this version. And you'd think like, you know, oh, it all looks bigger than you think, but so the scale's wrong. But it's obviously not because things that you know the scale of, like, you know, books or your hands, <laughs> they're correct, so. Um, I'm trying to go a little bit further to the left so I can get this, well, I guess I can just do this. All right. The very first ever missed elevator. And you have to close the door. I remembered that. Um, didn't this elevator rotate in the original? Which I guess was to explain why you always end up facing that. Um, here it looks like the rotating part of the tower is actually um, separate from... I'm, I'm guessing like that's the boundary so the elevator doesn't rotate with it. Which would have been much harder to do in the original because you would have different... Uh, uh, you'd have to render different images for every place that the the elevator could come out, so it was easier to just, you know, pretend the elevator turns, so it's always the same. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this game is actually on... Uh, climbing a ladder while sitting down is very, <laughs> very weird. Uh, this game is actually on Xbox Game Pass for both PC and um, Xbox as well as cloud gaming. So if you, uh, oh, it drops me down to where it thinks the floor is there. Um, 
So if you have that, you can actually play this without paying anything additional. This looks like it's an image. The sea is not moving. It's kind of a cheat. Can't really look out either. Oh. It's a shame, because the tower would be a great way to get you know, nice views of the island. Especially if it had a bigger window than that. Um. Alright. Let's check the clue. Oh, which is not at the top of a ladder. That's nice. Uh, October 11th, 1984. 10.04 a.m. January 17th, 12.07. 5.46 a.m. And August 7th, 7,352, 8.15 p.m. I definitely don't remember the original um, dates. And I feel like one of them was close to my birthday, and these aren't. So I guess those have been randomized. Let's take a picture of this. Um, I'm just going to go into the menu real quick to make sure that I can actually read... Now I can't see the menu. That's not good. My menu is invisible. That's a glitch. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. See if I can read these dates, which you can. You won't be able to see that, but... Um, Gonna need a patch or two, I guess. To iron out problems like that. Head back down. I feel the view here is small enough that this doesn't really affect me from a motion sickness point of view. Alright, let's head over to the planetarium. I actually see that door open. I can! Neat. That's hard to do even in a real mist. Because you have to be facing the painting to click it, obviously. Alrighty. Very dark, very sudden when we do that. Okay, um. Menu? October 11, 1984, 10.04 a.m. Can I remember that? We'll find out, I guess. 10 11, 1984, 10.04 a.m. 10 11, 1984, 10.04 a.m. Um. October 11, 1984. Oh, this is a 24 hour clock. 10.04 a.m. I hope that's right. Ah, that's the maple leaf. I know that much. Uh, let's take a picture of it anyway. And then the next date. And the menu is available again. Don't do this to me, game. There you go. January 17th, 12.07, 5.46am. 117, 1207, 546. 117, 1207, 546.
Ah, okay, I can just hit that. Um, didn't need to hit that, but whatever. One. Seventeen. It's the day after my anniversary. Except, you know, eight. 800 years or so before it. Um, 1207. Assuming this is a human calendar and not a dirty one. Um, and I forgot the time. I want to say it's 547. Come on, menu. 546. I was close. Go the other way around. Can I hold this down? No, I cannot. That is somewhat annoying. Um, that's the snake, I think. All right, one more to go. August 7, 7352, 8.15 p.m. So that's 8, 7, 7, 3, 5, 2, 2015. 8, 7, 7, 3, 5, 2, 2015. Uh, 8, 7, Seven, three, five, two. It's like eight fifteen or something. Too many numbers. Eight fifteen, seven three five two, eight fifteen. At least I can remember the year. Go. That looks like nothing. Oh wait, it's 8.15 p.m. So 20.15. And that's uh, something. I for forget this one. Um, so we have to go back to the book. Love the music here. Uh, very curious to see ages, because I haven't been to any ages. Feel like I managed to get turned around. So hopefully um, I was audible enough. That's kind of won't know if you can hear anything. I thanks. I should remember to pick these up with my left hand. Come on, teleport. Uh, I really don't know if you're going to be able to hear me properly until I edit this. So that'll be interesting. Maybe these are all for nothing. And I won't be able to use any of this. Um, all right, so we got the snake. Oh, the eye. It's the eye, the snake, and the um, maple leaf. Those are the constellations that we've, we have here, I do believe. Let me just verify that in the photo album. Maple leaf, snake, eye. All right. That's fine. Um, yeah. So. Let's activate those and we have to find them. I think those are different than the original symbols. But, um, 
I am definitely not sure. It's been too long. That's not one. There we go. Maple Leaf, we need that one. Don't need arrow. So the other two are... Oh, I hit back. Which apparently just moves you back a little. Which is good to know, I guess. Anchor, we don't need. Spider, no, it's not a spider. Beetle, whatever. Something with six legs, we don't need. Snake, we do need, and then logically this has to be I. Otherwise, we're being cheated. And we can actually see both the small and the big ship rays, which is cool. There's the tiny ship. Bobbing on the waves. Butterflies in the distance. I think it's the same place where they were in the original. I like how the birds stay near the dock. Like that's different somehow to them. Like it makes sense to have gulls near a dock because that's normally where, you know, land meets the sea, but um, this is a pretty small island for them to just stay near that one area. Alright, let's go to Stone Ship. I'm excited. See how stuff in the ages was randomized, or if it's just the book close. Can I go to the crow's nests? I guess you'd have to climb the rigging, which I don't think you can. <laughs> nope. Gonna have to play this without VR2 to see what it looks like with uh, ray tracing. Because I have an RTX 2070 Super. Thankfully, got that long before prices went insane. Stone ship. Um, why is the lighting so different? Looks like Stone ship is undergoing a nuclear holocaust of some kind. Well, let's go. Sun, uh, that sure is something. That's either a very cold sun or it's very warm here. In real mists, um, Stone Ship has a weather cycle, and I did just hear something that sounded like thunder, so I'm assuming we're gonna see a storm later. Is the sun also setting? Hard to tell. I oh, can't really detect any movement there. I forgot to check if the sun was moving in mist, because that has a day-night cycle in real mist. Um... Other than that, it's stone ship. There's a stone. Here's a ship. We've got all the ingredients. Did they change anything? That's the real question. 
looks very pretty. And, um, I can't swim. It's VR, so I'd have to hold my breath for real. That's how that works, right? Uh, let's check the lighthouse first. This will be an interesting... If they randomized anything here, I would have to guess it's the... Uh, It's the uh, the direction you have to push on the compass. Um, that's interesting. That doesn't look like it's locked. Oh, but the ladder isn't here. I can't touch the ladder because th there's a keyhole there. I guess that's easier to do in VR than try to reach um, a keyhole that's high up. Or do it while you're on a ladder. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Here's the key for the chest. Of course, they want you to think. No, I'm not close enough to do that without hitting my desk. Can I get close enough? Please? There. They want you to think this is for that, which of course you can't reach. Like, no, I can't go come back. No. Um, I, I really like the clever solution of not letting you take this out of the out of the lighthouse. In original mist, it just you know disappears if you um, if you leave the lighthouse. But attaching it to a rope works. That's that's actually pretty clever. All right, we're gonna have to pump the water out of here, of course. The lighting just makes this feel like a completely different age than before. It, it is uh, pretty amazing. I have to say. Um, can't go in here because it's wet and it's dark. Mainly because it's wet right now. Oh, I wonder if this will give me a better idea of my layout. And if they fix the inverted connection from Real Mist. Because remember I did this whole theory thing about the layout of Stone Age in my original Let's Play. Maybe the VR version will help me confirm some of these theories. Um... Alright, so this is slightly different as well. Well, at least if it does start raining, we can take shelter. I feel like the clouds are moving, but aren't really getting closer. But I guess we'll find out. I don't know which is which. If you run, could you see the water getting pumped away? Possibly. I guess that's this one. This wood looks very rotten. Or is it? This is stone. Sorry. Ah! Lights aren't on, of course. Do let me go in here, even in the dark. There's one of those submersible lamps. It's actually not as dark. In the original mist, it's impossible to see anything. But here, the book just won't show up without power. That's fair, I guess. Also looks like it's just going to be a hatch or something in the top of the desk. Rather than the book magically morphing out of the desk, which I guess is a little bit more in line with actual Dunny technology. 
this tells you that you need power and that it's linked to power outside. So that's a nice little puzzle hint there. And um, there's nothing here, it's just dark. Ooh, fish. I bet this would look cool with ray tracing. I'll have to wait for that later to find out. If it is significantly different, maybe I'll do a separate video just showcasing some ray tracing stuff after I've finished the VR walkthrough. Unlike, uh, you know, Minecraft, you can't just turn ray tracing on and off with a button. You have to restart the game, so it's not like I can do a side by side comparison very easily. Um, oh, you know what I'm really curious about? How are we handling pages? Am I going to have to hold them? What the? I don't know what I just did. Um... Gonna have to hold them until we get somewhere. That's that would be uh, annoying. This again, it's dark, but it's not so dark that you can't see anything. It is dark enough that you can't see the secret passage, which I guess is the point. Yeah, this definitely feels like it's making a full circle. Like I, uh, um, no, wait, that's the secret passage, isn't it? I don't know how to open it, though. Uh, I guess we shouldn't try to cheat this and just actually get light. Um, yeah, it does feel like this is big enough to be making a full circle, so we're pretty much underneath the entrance, which is what I, I guessed. is still right. And uh, Sirius's room, I do believe. Looks very nice. Oh, he had all kinds of fun stuff to play with. And all these fabrics. Oh. Uh, can I get a coin? I can't get a coin. 10 out of 10. Best game ever. I can get coins. Ah, uh, they teleport back like the note did. I can't drop them on the floor. Kind of fiddly. <laughs> Cross on the back. Um, alright. Stay closed. That one's empty. Um, oh, and here I'm running into my stuff again. Oh, but I can pick it up. Physics? No physics. <laughs> I can't toss thing around like you can in Steam Home, VR Home, whatever. But you can look at it, which is pretty nice. It's kind of awkward, like, this is, I need, I'm tilting my hand forward to hold it like this. You know, let's take a drink. <sighs> Too bad there was nothing in it. Um, those are the pirates from Mechanical, right? That symbol. That's what I remember. Um, what's on this side? Um, Sirs, were you wearing this? Somehow I don't, I can't see him wearing this. Um, very nice, very nice. There's nothing else here though. I don't know where the 
the one half of the letter is. Is it gonna be? I thought it was in Cyrus's room. And part of me is like, oh, I gotta go and look up on the on the top of the drawer, <laughs> if, uh, even though um, that's probably not how this game works. Oh, there's the red page and the dagger. It's really awkward how this doesn't match the orientation of your hand, how you hold stuff. Really the only, like, Steam VR does that best, and so does Half-Life Alex, which I haven't really played yet. Um, but I played it a little bit, and it does that really well, like, actually holding stuff and showing your hand and matching up the orientation, but, you know, it's Valve. They, they pay attention to stuff like that. So what happens if I pick this up? Um, it disappeared. I guess that means I have it now. Or the book got uh, updated magically. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Does that also mean I can get both pages without having to come back here? That would be kind of nice, honestly. Especially in uh, Selenitic. And I think uh, Cyrus had a drug problem. Can't get the pills. Can't? Yeah, I can. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it was healthy. Um, no page, no uh, note though. Assuming this is some kind of hologram rather than anything physical. What? How long have these candles been on? Did Cyrus leave here like an hour ago? According to his journals in Mist 4, he's been in Spire for like 10 years. So that's kind of uh, weird. Maybe they're not real candles. Maybe they're just made to look like candles. I do not remember exactly where you find the two half pages. Can we like spin these or something? Yes, you can. I wonder if this is actually a globe of some age or if it's just random. There's the other one. Also not Earth by the looks of things. And his bed. I can't go on his bed. I can go beside his bed. Can't really get close enough to touch to try and see if I can get the pillows. Maybe if I turn around, I have more space. And the answer is no. I can't do anything with that. Um, right, so... No half note here, but we did get a red page. It is still kind of uh, interesting that... This game doesn't let you go back to Mist unless you solve the puzzles. That is such a kind of unfriendly thing to do. Like Mist 3 didn't do that, uh, Mist 4 didn't do that, Riven didn't have that problem because you stay on Riven most of the time. But here, yeah, you go to Stone Ship, you have to solve Stone Ship before you are allowed to go back. And, um, now the weather doesn't look like it's changing, which is kind of a shame. 
That's still flooded, isn't it? Or oh no, the third one is the is the lighthouse. The uh, tunnels are together. In my head canon, Atris had help from people from different ages building all this stuff because it seems very unlikely that he did all of this by himself. Another thing that I, you know, if, if they ever did a real live version of Mist with all of these kinds of issues fixed, um, I would, you know, hope they would update journals to make that kind of stuff clear. Oh, Ekinar's rooms. They are, uh... I'm not looking forward to these in VR. Especially not one in uh, Mechanical. Because they're creepy. Just because you're creepy doesn't mean you need to, like, sleep. Like this. You can have sheets and still be creepy. It is pretty hard to beat the, uh human chest lamp. Oh, this is also a candle. What's with these magical candles? There's the blue page. So, did I just get both of them? Or did the red page return? That's the real question. This is the rose that turns into a skull. Pretty cool to see in 3D. Um, guys, the off button doesn't work. Um, Akinar collection of torture tools. Is this something I can open? Yes, yes it is. It's just very dark. That's a map of something. Middle Earth, presumably. Um, and another map. Mechanical, maybe, with the ships on it. Who knows? You know, I could really do with better light here. Uh, Get your maps. Ah, there's the the half page. That's fangs, guys. <laughs> That's really helpful to hold it up to the light. Um, marker switch. The vault is located. The island of achieved very easily. The instructions are followed. Each turn of the marker, turn every one of on position, and as a final step, turn there to the. I feel like that's still the same. No secret messages on the back. I like a, this is a sextant, isn't it? It's kind of small for a sextant. It's a mini sextant. Um, I guess these are more map related tools than they are torture tools. I guess he was an avid cartographer. Akinar, who'd have guessed? Um, that seems to be it for his room. Um, I'm trying to get out of here, but it's having issues letting me teleport kind of further down. And, um... I feel like this is probably long enough. Come on. Get up there. There you go. 
I'm giving up hope that the weather is actually going to change here. <laughs> Which is kind of a shame. But I guess we'll continue in the next video.